Welcome back to Dips Academy. Today we will solve Jam 2023 question number 39. And the question is from multivariable calculus. हमें क्या given है? हमें एक function given है. f of x, y. ठीक है, वो हमें function ऐसा given है. ठीक है, कि अगर x, y non zero है, like origin point के अलावा, बाकि सारे points के लिए हमारे पास function इस तरीके से define है. और origin पे function की value क्या है? Zero है. तो हमें उसके लिए ये सारे options check करने हैं. ठीक है, तो सबसे पहले हम first option check करेंगे. First A option को check करने के लिए हम क्या करेंगे? हमें निकालना है limit t tends to zero f of t comma two t minus f of zero zero upon t. हमें check करना है कि limit exists करती है या नहीं. और अगर exist करती है तो इसका value क्या है? तो हम क्या करेंगे? x को t से replace करेंगे. ठीक है तो देखो t जो है हमें वो zero पे tend कर रहा है t अगर zero पे tend कर रहा है इसका मतलब वो zero के equal नहीं है ठीक है तो ये हमारे पास जो भी point होगा t comma two t ये हमारे पास कोई non zero value होगी ठीक है तो हमारे पास ये function पे इस value इस <coughs> t comma two t पे function की value हम यहाँ से लेंगे तो यहाँ से हमारे पास क्या आ गया limit t tends to 0 x को हम कैसे replace करेंगे t से तो यह आ गया t to the power 4 और y को हम replace करेंगे 2t से तो यह हमारे पास क्या आ गया 8pq divided by यह आया x की power 6 मतलब t की power 6 और 2t की power 6 यह हमारे पास इसकी value आ गई माइनस f of 0 पे वैल्यू 0 0 पे वैल्यू क्या गिवन है f of 0 0 पे वैल्यू गिवन है 0 डिवाइड बाय t ठीक है तो हमारे पास सिंपलीफाई होके ये क्या आया लिमिट t टेंड्स टू p टेंड्स टू 0 ये हमारे पास क्या आया 8t टू द पावर 7 डिवाइड बाय t इनटू t to the power 6 plus 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 6 हमारे पास क्या होता है 64 t 6 ठीक है ये हमारे पास ये किस चीज़ के equal आया ये हमारे पास आया 8 upon 65 limit t to t tends to 0 t to the power 7 upon t to the power 7 तो इसकी value हमारे पास क्या आ गई 8 by 65, which is clearly not equals to 1 by 3. Okay, this implies this option is wrong. Okay, so this shows that this option is wrong. Next we have, we will solve for option B. Option B says that we have to calculate its partial derivative with respect to x at point 0, 0. So, our definition for partial derivative is with, we are taking with respect to x. So, we will we'll take the change in x. So, our definition is limit. We have to check this limit. Limit h tends to 0. Okay. f of x plus h minus f of x. Sorry x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y divided by h. We have to take this. This is the definition of partial derivative at point. At what point? At point x comma y. Okay. But here we are given with a point 0 comma 0. So, what we will do? We will put 0 comma 0 here and functional values here. So, here what we will get at del f upon del x at 0 comma 0. Its value is limit h tends to 0. What is this? It is f of h comma 0 minus f of 0 comma 0 upon h. 
now now we have to check whether this limit exists or not so to check this what will take f of 0 value of f of 0 comma 0 is 0 and what else f of h comma 0 this is a h is tending to 0 not exactly equals to 0 so i'll take the, this functional value and when we'll put h is equals to uh, like when we'll put 0 in place of y we'll get 0 so its answer is 0 minus 0 it's so its answer is limit h tends to 0 0 minus 0 upon h which is 0 so from here we can conclude that this this uh, this option is correct because this exists and it is equals to 0 similarly we can calculate for the for option 3 so we'll op calculate option 3 which is we have to calculate del f upon del y at point 0 comma 0 so first we'll write for some point arbitrary point x comma y and our definition will be equals to limit k tends to 0 f of x comma y plus k will take change in y that's why we are writing partial derivative with respect to y and f of x minus y upon k this is our definition okay so here we'll find out at point 0 comma 0 to find this at the point 0 comma 0 what will take limit k tends to 0 f of 0 comma zero comma k minus f of zero zero comma upon h now at zero comma zero functional value is clearly zero and at f of zero comma k our functional value is when we will replace x by zero and y by k what will have its value will be zero so it will again be limit k tends to 0, 0 minus 0 upon k which is clearly 0. So our option says that this limit exists and it is equals to 0 which is a correct option. Okay, next what we have, next we have in option D. In option D we have to calculate, we have to calculate limit h tends to 0 i think we have to calculate t tends to 0 okay t tends to t tends to 0 and at f of t comma t minus f of 0 comma 0 upon t we have to calculate this limit okay and we have to check whether it exists or not so what will be its limit it will be equals to t tends to 0 and at, as t is tending to 0, not exactly equals to 0. So, we will take again this value, functional value. So, it will be, we will replace x and y both by t. So, what its value will be? It will be t to the power 4, t to the power 3 upon t to the power 6 plus t to the power 6. And this is 0 upon t now what it is equals to it is equals to limit t tends to 0 in numerator we will have t to the power 7 in denominator what will have 2 t to the power 7 and it is equals to 1 by 2 this implies that this limit exists and equals to 1 by 2 which implies our option D is also correct. Thank you.